sailboats. We're seeing more and more of them every year. And you know, some of the top sailboats in the world are made right here in Canada. But Motoring 88 is a program about cars. And our next story deals with a sports car and it's Canadian made. Here's Sandra Neal to explain. If you think you're seeing a Shelby Cobra, well, you're close. It's an Aurora 302 SC. Now the lines are similar and so are the engines. But this car is made for the 80s and it's Canadian. We've updated the car to add the creature comforts of the 80s, which would include uh, such things as air conditioning and power mirrors and retractable top and four speaker stereos. I doubt the original uh, Cobra ever envisioned that kind of uh, amenity. What would be the difference between buying this and say sending away for a kit car and spending 2,000 hours trying to put something together? Fundamentally the Aurora is assembled by professionals that have knowledge of building this car. The car is certified both from an environmental and uh, safety standard so you would find the car easier to get insurance on and probably would hold up better in the resale market. Right now, the Aurora car plant here in Richmond Hill employs six people who are capable of producing 100 cars a year, all done by hand. We have plans to not get into the mass marketing or mass production of cars. We're looking at a fine niche market, and that would not be dissimilar to the market that some world-class cars have been in for uh, several decades. Canadians have always had a, an interest in imports, so we probably are at a, a disadvantage in the fact that they can't say that it's imported. Well, I don't think you could ever expect it to be a, a Shelby Cobra. Usually replica cars are very basic and rattly and tinny and don't have the power they're supposed to have. But this car is quite tight and uh, handled extremely well and it's uh, quite a good effort. Did they mention the price to you of an Aurora? I think they've talked about 50000 roughly in this country. Can you compare an Aurora to a Maserati? Oh, I don't think so. They're in different worlds altogether. I don't think you can compare an Aurora with very much else. It's, it's rather unique. Your customers, would they be similar to the Aurora customer? No, I don't think so. The Aurora is, is much less a uh, transportation and more of a toy. And uh, I think a Maserati is, a, is much more transportation and less of a toy. We're not out to build cars that do zero to 60 in, in four seconds. But uh, it can certainly keep up with our competition, and it is different. It's an attention getter. No matter where you go, people are going to notice it. Thing's going to shine. Oh, I think it's, it's it's pretty ready. good. It's getting there, but you still got to get all that little. See around the trunk with the oh. waxes. Oh right, okay. You got to yep. get all that stuff. Right. I want it to shine. I've owned Corvettes, I've owned Porsches, I've owned Mercedes-Benz sports cars. It drives different than all of them. It, it has a real gutsy feeling, much like a Corvette, but it, it has that a little extra that's European to it, and yet it's Canadian. The Aurora is not a, a, you know, an everyday car that you buy to go to the grocery store with. It's, it's a car that you buy because you, you like to motor, and it's pretty quick. It, uh, I've... I've uh, played with it a little bit with friends that have owned other cars and uh, actually I, I drive it less than my uh, fiance does, Tina. It took me a while actually to decide to uh, drive the car. I was very nervous with it at first because it's such a beautiful vehicle as you can see and I didn't want anything to happen to it. I love it, it's great and I love to drive it. I think you're going to see the Aurora car um, become the car to own. I think there are a lot of Porsches out there and there's a lot of Mercedes out there, but there isn't a lot of Aurora Cobras out there. Well, that's it. We are all out of time. We'll be back next week with more of Motoring 88. Make sure you join us. As for me, I've got to get this back. Next week on Motoring 88. If you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you like and share us, and also make sure you check out our ongoing contest to win lots of swag from Motoring TV and our sponsors. And if you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe. 30 years of Motoring TV, a virtual automotive video gold mine at your fingertips.